could soon be some help fixing major flood prone areas in the Hudson Valley hit especially hard by Hurricane Irene and Superstorm Sandy. News 12's Blaze Gomez is in Orange County tonight with that story. This is what acres of black dirt farms in Pine Island look like after the Walk Hill River overflowed during Hurricane Irene. We all know that unless we do some important work there soon, we're going to keep having these superstorm events and we're going to keep getting flooded. On Monday, Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney said he's asked Governor Andrew Cuomo to help by getting the Walk Hill River dredged. It's killing us. We're getting 100 year floods every other year. Frank Bialis has lived and farmed in Pine Island all his life. He says he's doubtful talks to clean and widen the river will ever be more than just that. You get hit with these floods and it kills us. It's. Uh... They've been told about this, like I say, for 50 years and nothing happens. But the river caused $81 million in damages in Orange County in 2011 and seems to be on the radar. It's also one of 23 flood prone projects in Orange County. Maloney is asking the governor to support. Glenmere Lake here in the town of Florida is on that list. The dam was damaged during Superstorm Sandy, and the idea is to repair and upgrade it enough to handle rains like we have now or worse. A stitch in time saves nine, making sure we do the work now when we know the superstorms are coming to prevent that kind of damage in the future. And with hurricane season in swing, Governor Cuomo has announced millions in aid to help communities hit by natural disasters rebuild stronger. The hope for many now is that some of that money will help here. In Pine Island, Blaze Gomez, News 12. Well, more than $500 million in grant money is expected to be made available for hard-hit areas in New York State.